Hi everybody and welcome back to my modeling channel. So today we're gonna rescue another uh, little kit. This was a Dornier uh, pre, uh, correction, a Dornier 228 made by Welsh model. And of course that aircraft has been damaged in one of my relocations. So it's really a minor damage. I mean the nose gear um, has been just separated from the cockpit but if you see it from uh, the straight, yeah. You see it from here, you can see that the dihedral and uh, the left wing is, uh, is really, really um, out of shape. It's really bending down, so I'm going to have to redo that as well. And I will have to repaint. And you can see that, uh, yeah, you have a better uh, idea here on all the problem I had and all the crack on the white paint that the uh, model suffer. So what I will do is I will basically saw that uh, that uh, right wing now we'll put it at a proper angle we twist all the propeller blades and uh, get it at a correct uh, fit and then for this uh, you saw on one of my uh, former video I'm doing some uh, some uh, decals myself and I will make some a French commuter called Air Caledonie so yes you could forget the all uh, Crosser Saab 340 and I will do Air Caledonie logo. So basically this is how I did. So I did uh, those myself and uh, we're gonna put them uh, on that uh, nice little aircraft. So just to give you an idea, uh, that plane is about 10 centimeter long. So it's a pretty small aircraft. Uh, you can see the size of my hand next to it. So enough of talking and la let's start uh, rebuilding that uh, nice little kit. So we're going to start this build by removing the small parts. So that's going to be the gear door, the undercarriage and uh, the propellers. And uh, there will be also a little bit later on the, the wings uh, and the flaps fairing. So after that, uh, I'm going to have to open and crack up the wing as the Daedra was completely uh, crashed during the relocation. And I will try to get uh, the proper angle. So after that, what we're going to try, what I tried to do actually was to remove the paint, but uh, my paint remover was gone, so I used some thinner, but the result was not as expected. So uh, later on, I tried to use uh, that thinner with a toothbrush, an old toothbrush, and uh, you can see what happened basically, and it was a little bit difficult to remove. So I had to add more and more, and uh, the paint was drying up as well. So I tried to do it as much as I could, but the result was not really uh, as expected uh, or as uh, I wanted to be. So, uh, but I keep trying and remove a big part of that paint. And uh, after that, I will try to rebuild. And uh, I realized as well during that, uh, that uh, paint removal procedure that I had a lot of little uh, dots or little holes like micro bubbles basically in the plastic. I don't know if it happened through times. So uh, I had to clear this up. I finished to clear up everything with uh, some sandpaper and water. And uh, the result was much, much better than uh, originally. So as I was uh, mentioning, I saw all these uh, little uh, bubbles or micro bubbles. So uh, after removing these, I'll have to cover everything up again with, uh, with a little bit of a uh, putty and let it dry overnight. And uh, of course, I, the more I was uh, sanding down and removing all those uh, bubbles, the more I, I could find as well. So it was kind of, uh, kind of difficult and uh, time consuming, but you know, that's the way it is. And that's uh, all about modeling. So after finishing uh, sanding uh, the first part, uh, I also had some other gap between the wings and uh, the fuselage that I had to complete. So uh, I fill this up with some uh, great Tamiya putty, let it dry overnight again, and uh, the following day I start to remove the uh, extra dried putty. Of course that can be uh, a little bit hectic, but uh, it took quite a while because it was difficult to reach. Then uh, what I did is I uh, fixed the um, 
horizontal stabilizer let it dry of course and then I had to add some putty to uh, clear all the gaps and to remove all those gaps between that part because the horizontal stabilizer is basically uh, a single part if I remember correctly so of course after uh, the putty dried uh, I had to sand it down and to remove the extra putty of course on that tail Once the surface was uh, satisfactory, I cut some uh, other basically fence on the tail and uh, I also uh, glue again all the flap fairing and uh, for those, uh, all those fairings for those flight cone holes uh, on both sides. Adding just uh, some uh, Tamiya uh, super thin glue and, uh, and the trick was done, let it dry and then uh, the aircraft will be uh, soon for the paint shop. So we're now starting the paint job on that uh, Dornier 228 and I have to say that well for that I used the, the simple uh, the standard uh, shiny white from uh, Tamiya and, uh, but I had to say that this time I had to put two layers as there was some uh, shade so of course the first time I had to do it I let it dry overnight and then uh, I apply a, a second layer the following day and uh, I have to say that it went much better and the result was uh, quite satisfactory. So uh, after that, I had to, according to the picture I saw basically there, was, uh, there were only boots uh, on the leading edge of the horizontal stabilizer. So I did some uh, mask with some masking tape and paint them in a matte black color. And uh, that would be just the end of the paint, the paint job for that aircraft because it was just um, overall white and after that uh, we will be able to start uh, decaling uh, the airplane and as you can see uh, that's the time my cat decided to show up and come and try uh, to play with me so uh, it was uh, quite playful that night it is normally pretty quiet but uh, Nugget is a very sweet cat and he's very curious like every cat so uh, after he had enough he just decided to go for a doze uh, on my legs while I was uh, still uh, doing my, uh, my models. So we're now going to paint the white line on the edge of the propeller and for this I use just a simple uh, matte white from uh, Tamiya. So uh, after that it's the decaling process and for those I use my own made decals so uh, I had to print them with a ink jet uh, printer then I had to put uh, a clear coat of uh, varnish otherwise uh, the ink would basically be dissolved completely uh, in the process I mean in the water so uh, after that the decals are very very fragile still I have to say that but the result is quite decent and I'm very happy with the, the result I got 
and especially that uh, you do some planes uh, I have the possibility of doing some planes who don't exist on the market so that create a little bit of a uh, rarity so uh, beside that uh, we finish to uh, decal the aircraft and uh, you will be able to see the end result very soon And here is the end result of that uh, Dornier 228 on scale 144. I hope uh, you enjoyed that uh, rebuild or that uh, rescue kit with me. If you did so, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and you can also uh, share uh, those videos. And uh, I will see you soon for another uh, modeling video. Thank you for watching.